Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chriselle, and today we're playing the star named EOS Demo. Now, if you have not heard of this game before, no worries. This is supposed to be a very cozy narrative adventure puzzle style of indie game. Thank you so much to the devs for the early access demo code. I believe the full game is supposed to be releasing at some point in 2023, and I do hope to play it. So if I do, then I'll be sure to link a playlist link down below in the description box and all my social links will be down there as well. Without further ado, don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube and give it a thumbs up if you're not liking it, it helps me a lot. But otherwise, let's just go and get started. Day. Day. Is that my name? Oh. Have you ever looked forward to opening your eyes? The art is so pretty already. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the thing with these games is that it's all like hand painted, hand drawn, which is really cool. So are we not on Earth? Because it looks like we're looking up at a different planet or a moon or something. This is so nice. Hi. Oh. Okay, so are we a child? We're small. Is this my mom? Hi. To finding that the thing you've been chasing after is right in front of you. Cute. All you star. see, everything shines. Everything. When you gaze at the stars, the stars also gaze at you. Oh, a star. Like a star named EOS. <laughs> Cute. They do not fade away just because you close your eyes. Nor will they be dimmed by fleeting clouds. Just Cute. open your eyes and you'll see shooting stars full of wishes. Ah, shooting stars. They can see during the daytime. Oh my god. Day, are you asleep? Oh, oh, good morning. So maybe it was a dream? Letter. Is that my mother? Hi. Oh. What? <laughs> I had that dream again. What does that mean? That she was there and then disappeared? She die? My room's a little dim. Better turn on the lights first. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't think I can walk anywhere. So, oh my god. I can already see all the little puzzles and stuff that I can click on. Oh, there we go. Turn that on. It's much brighter now. Did I read the letter? It's a day. A letter addressed to me. Photo of a train window. You'll be able to take a better shot, mom. I remember seeing a similar scene somewhere. Oh, so... Oh, okay, there's a letter. I was like, where, where's the letter part? Dear Day, how are you? Can't stop thinking about you during my travels. Oh, okay, so she went off traveling. As a photographer, I have to capture beauty with my camera. I know you're more talented than I am, Day, and I believe you'll be able to find beauty in this world very soon. You see, everything shines, everything. When you gaze at the stars, the stars also gaze at you. They do not fade away just because you close your eyes, nor will they be dimmed by fleeting clouds. Just open your eyes and you'll see shooting stars, full of wishes. I'm writing this letter on the train to my destination. The red curtains and flowers make a good contrast against the greenery outside. Wish you were here to see it with me. Love, mom. So I wonder how old we are. I also wonder why she didn't take us with her. Maybe we're too young to really travel very much. I wonder if mom's trip is going well. Yeah, I noticed that we uh, have some stargazing stuff here as well. So I wonder, maybe that's something that we did with her often. Okay, can I take a look at this? This is the music box mom gave me when I was little. Oh, I used to love- I have so many music boxes, actually. I know that they've been made into kind of, um, like a creepy horror thing in horror games and stuff nowadays. And don't get me wrong, in horror settings, they are very creepy. But, I don't know, I've always had a bit of a soft spot of them, just because I always grew up with them, and I wouldn't be able to fall asleep without them when I was little. Uh, what is this arrow as well? Oh, okay, I'm kind of in the way. Uh, so it looks like I've got items. So, doesn't seem to work here. Ah, I see. What about this one? Oh, settings. Okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. It looks like we're missing maybe the handle here. Alright, can I look at this? Oh, I feel like I've seen this before. I want to capture the scene, but how? Okay, so maybe we need to find a camera. This looks just like um, the window in this one. <laughs> and we've even got a flower pot too, so maybe we can try to recreate the scene, perhaps? The world in a globe. True. I always wanted a globe when I was little, but 
never ended up getting one. But we'll get to hold a photography exhibition someday. Yeah. There's a little triangle on the top there too. Kind of wonder if that is maybe supposed to be some sort of code. All right, what else do we have? Photos and souvenirs from my trips. Okay, so we have gone traveling as well. How old are we? I mean, it seems like we're a kid, but it could also be that we're an adult visiting our childhood room, but we do look a little bit short, so maybe not. What about this? Birthday card? Happy birthday. Dear day, happy birthday. Take a look around you. If you pay attention, you'll find that the world is full of surprises. Guess what I got you? You've always wanted this. Love, mom. Five out of 24. Five out of 24. Oh, maybe 24 letters that we can find? Okay, so I'm guessing our own camera, maybe? The birthday card I got for when I was nine. I got my dream gift that year. Cute. Can I open the drawers? Oh, storybook mom bought me. <laughs> So cute, why is this so sad? Can I open this? Oh, I see. Oh, taking a little schnooze. Okay, so it looks like maybe we're lost or something, or maybe we live here. We have Bumblebee. Okay, and we've got a rabbit friend with one colored in petal. What does this mean? Oh, are we a firefly? Just because of these little sparkly things here. Oh, and a bear. Oh, a different petal on this one. I wonder if that's gonna be a code or something. Oh, another one here. Yeah, so maybe. This page looks like it's ripped out. So maybe we can find a page to glue or tape that back together somehow. Yeah, it looks like maybe nobody wants to be our friend or something like that. Oh, really pretty stars though. <laughs> oh, we are we are a little, a little, what are they called? Like a glow bug, night bug light. I feel like I said it a second ago and now I've forgotten. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, cool. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it was. Okay, so we've got family and stuff. A <laughs> little baby one. Look at this one too. I wonder if this is the mom. She's like crying happy tears. Very cute. Okay. All right. Okay, what else do we have? We've got a calendar. July 7th. This is the day when mom and I went to see the meteor shower. Oh, okay. Cool. July 7th. Uh, what about this? I feel like I've seen this shape somewhere. Oh, yes, in the book. So... Yeah, 100% this is a code. Okay, I have to reference it again because I have immediately forgotten. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a note of the flower shape. Oh, actually, now that I'm looking at it though, if we're missing a page, then maybe the code would be wrong. Okay, so it would be this one, this one, this one, this one. Or not. Okay, so maybe we need to find the page first. Okay, well, um, maybe I can look at the drawer news. There's some letters on the lockbox of the case. I, okay, so didn't we see a shape like this? Okay, so star, moon, sun, triangle. We saw one, yeah, right here. So we had a little diamond shape. Okay, maybe I will <laughs> write it down as well, just in case. I don't know which one would go first, but we'll probably have to come back to that. Potted plant that is still alive and thriving. Unlike my plants, the only plant I've been able to keep alive is bamboo, which is really more of a root. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, uh, I don't have the greatest of them. Is that a photo of us? A blurry old photo. I wonder how long the mom has been gone. Oh, a triangle, upside down triangle. Okay, I'm gonna note it down. Okay, world map. Precious map from my travel with mom. What about the TV? My old TV? It's really more of a memento. Yeah, this is quite old, depending what year it is. Ah, uh, okay, so we've got a safe as well. <laughs> it's got an image of a camera, so I wonder, or maybe it's supposed to be see-through. So maybe the dry cabinet is locked. There's a camera and some stuff inside. Maybe it would be the date that the, um, the calendar had, which was July. Seventh. I don't think that's enough numbers, is it? I mean, we can certainly try. Maybe it would be 07 and then 07 again for July 7th. Maybe not. Okay, so we'll have to come back to that. All right, what about the mirror? Can't click on the mirror. I'm trying to see if there's any shapes or anything reflected, but I don't think so. An album from my photography practice. It's been a while since I last took a photo seriously. Oh, oh, who is this? I wonder if that's the mom or maybe that's us grown up with somebody else, like a love interest or something because of all the hearts. Or it could be grown up us with mom, perhaps. Looks like this might be like some sort of ticket or something like that. This is definitely me and mom. <laughs> okay, cool. Very cute. But we've got a ticket here as well. So maybe kind of like a scrapbook. Oh, actually, this page torn from the storybook. Ah, okay, and it looks like it's got some sort of code, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks like we've got some sort of award. Trophy for a photo contest. Nice. Good job. Okay, and then this one's definitely a puzzle. Puzzle box I made. I always look forward to aligning the stars. Oh, that's very cute. Okay. 
Oh, I see. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not the best at puzzles, so give me a second here. <laughs> and pull that out, maybe. I feel like I've messed up somewhere. Oh, what? Oh, you could do it diagonally. I thought I was trying to get it like, in a row along one of the edges. Okay, well, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> okay, crane candle. Where should this go? Oh, this will be for the music box, probably. Looks like the same design, too. Oh, I didn't even see this. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. Okay, so let's grab the crank there. And can we wind it up? Cute. Music boxes make me so nostalgic. I don't know why. Oh! Hi. Wooden boy doll. He's looking a bit lonely on a wooden horse. Maybe this is for that thing that we just saw. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, great. A dollhouse. Seems to be missing something. Yeah, but we've got it right here. So cute. So maybe we made this as well because we like to make wooden stuff. Cartoon poster. I should put it up somewhere. Superheroes. Great. Sure. Why not? Can we put it up here with the Goodwill poster? No. I kind of wonder if there's a sun here, the sticker. I kind of wonder if that's part of that shape code thing that we had earlier too. What about right here? Oh, I see. There's a little <laughs> spaces for it. Blank wall. Perfect. That is exactly what we needed. Now the wall is full of memories. Cute. Okay, so now that we've done all that, we can go back to the storybook here. Pop that in. So this is the complete story. Okay, so we approached the worm snake. Something about his shirt changed his shirt. Oh, was it upside down? Oh, I see. Oh, okay, because the tag is on the bottom. Oh, which makes sense as to why the code wouldn't work. Okay, so instead it will be one, two, three, four. There we go. Cool. Origami flowers. Nice. A gift I made for Mother's Day. Very cute. Yeah, I've made some of those before. I made an origami rose before. It was very difficult, <laughs> but it turned out cute. Okay, so I'm thinking actually now, um, because we've kind of, I think, looked at most of the things in here. I think that this is probably 0524 because in the birthday card, it said five out of 24. And I thought it meant like five out of 24 notes, but it's not, it's just the code. <laughs> okay, makes sense. Pocket compass. I've been carrying it with me for a long time. Some patterns are worn away. Very cute. And our camera. For the gift from mom, I could use it to capture every moment of life. Nice. Maybe I'll try to get familiar with the camera mom gave me again. Okay, so what is this? Oh, I see. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So. Oh, I see. Click on the scroll wheel and scroll. Nice. Looks like the photo mom sent me, but it's lacking something. Ah. Yes. Okay, so I can make this look like mom's train window. Can I really take a better shot? Was it not on the right side? I thought it was. Oh, there we go. Okay, and now can I put this? There we go. Okay. Um, I don't have curtains though. <laughs> Uh, what else am I missing? Oh, you know what? Okay, so we had- what was it? So let's start here maybe. Sun and then triangle. And then, and then on this side of the room, we have the diamond. Oh, maybe stars because of the stars on the lamp. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so sun, triangle, there we go. Diamond star. Oh, and the curtain. Looks like the curtain in mom's photo. Perfect. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's hang that up. Here we go. Cool. Yeah, it looks just like it. Yeah, this looks like mom's train window. I have to take a photo. Okay, so in... Do I remember what it looked like in framing? Absolutely not, but. <laughs> Dear Day, oh. I've always believed that seeing it gives it reality. If you see something and experience it as beautiful, there is beauty. Sure. Photo of a window. Imitation of mum's photo of the train window. Ah, oh, very nice. Red curtains and flowers make good contrast against the greenery outside. This is what she saw. Oh, another letter. To date. Letter addressed to me. Oh, a new one. Photo of food. It looks so good I can almost smell it. Feel every moment of life with your heart. This is so sweet. So wholesome. Dear day. The camera I gave you is the best I've ever had. It has to be that good to match your talent. <laughs> I'm now in a big bustling city. When I can take a break from work, I often come to this cafe to sit by the windows and watch people pass 
passing by. Oh, she's people watching. With your talent of capturing beauty, what photos you could take here. I've always believed that seeing it gives it reality. If you see something and experience it as beautiful, there is beauty. But more importantly, the food is amazing here. <laughs> I hope to share this with you one day. Love, mom. Okay, very sweet. Where is this train going? I do wonder. Can I take a look around? Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so it looks like there's gonna be some sort of puzzle. Oh, the luggage. Oh, this is so cute. Can I take a photo? Because I see this. Can I actually? Cute. What else can I take a picture of? <laughs> can I take a picture of this? Oh my god. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to do anything with that. No, it doesn't actually go into my inventory. Okay. <laughs> okay, I saw a map over here, so I kind of want to click on this one. So we can see, Jesus, where we're going. Are you still with me? What? Why was that so spooky? Oh, to be continued. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That was good. I like that. All right, guys. That was it for the demo of the star named EOS. I believe the full game is releasing at some point in 2023, and I do hope to play the full one. So if I do, I'll be sure to link the playlist down below in the description box. And I'll also be sure to include a cozy games playlist down there and almost those links will be down there as well. So far, the game is looking very cute. I'm very curious about the kind of storyline and like where the mom went, how long she's been gone, why she left without us and everything like that. The art style was obviously very lovely as well so yes very much so looking forward to kind of seeing where everything goes from here because anyways that is gonna be for me tonight so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed as always of course don't forget to subscribe to me here on youtube and give it a thumbs up if you're not liking it helps me a lot otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one okay goodbye